Welcome to MiniOrange. MiniOrange provides single sign-on solutions for Confluence, and as we know, that it is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. So, in this video we are going to set up Confluence single sign-on with G Suite using SAML protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Go to your MiniOrange single sign-on plugin. You can navigate the plugin by clicking on Take a Tour of the Add-on. Now let's proceed with the configuration. Click on Add New IDP. You can select Manual Setup Flow, which gives you access to all the various setup options that we provide to add a SAML identity provider. If you want to configure your IDP setup from the get-go, you can use Quick Setup Flow which we will be covering in this video. Scroll down and select Google Apps as an IDP. In the Service Provider Metadata window you can view the setup guide of the plugin. Here you know get step-by-step -step instructions. So, firstly we are configuring the G Suite as Identity Provider. Go to the G Suite login page and log into your credentials. Now go to Google Admin section. And click on Apps. Now click on SAML Apps. Then click on Add Apps and select Add Custom SAML App. Now enter the app name of your choice. And click on Continue button. These are the options to configure SAML apps. Now I have select Download Metadata option. See here I successfully download the file. Then scroll down and click on Continue button. For a CS URL and Entity URL. Go to Service Provider Metadata window in the plugin and select Manually Configuring Metadata on your IDP. Then copy the ACS URL and paste it in the application. Similarly, copy Entity ID and paste it in the application. And click on Continue button. Now click on Add Mapping to Add Attributes. Add the attributes as first name, last name and email. Then click on Finish button. Go to User Access drop-down and select Service Status On for Everyone. Then click on Save. Now let's set up Confluence as a service provider. Go to the Service Provider Metadata window in the plugin and click on Proceed. Enter the custom IDP name of your choice. IDP metadata can be imported in one of the three ways. Metadata URL, Metadata File, or Manual Setup. We will be going with Metadata File for now. Choose the metadata file you have already downloaded and click on save. You can see SAML setting updated message. Go down test and get attribute URL. Copy the URL. Go to the browser and paste copy of URL in the plugin and press enter. Here you can see successful test configuration here. Along with name ID, first name, last name and email. You can scroll down to check SAML request and SAML response. Go back to the plugin and click on Proceed. In the User Profile section you can map the User Profile attributes. While configuring attributes statements in Google Apps application you have configure name ID with user email. As Google Apps has separate attributes for first name and last name, select Yes form the given drop-down. Now for the first name attribute select first name. And for the last name attribute select last name. And click on save and proceed. From this drop down, configure the default group that will be used grant application access to the user. If now group is not, then users added by default for the Confluence software users group. And from this drop down, you can choose which users will be assigned to the default groups. Now, click on view results. Scroll down and click on Finish. Your IDP is successfully configured. Now, whenever user will try to access the Confluence page, he will be redirected to G Suite after some time. That is the user will be first to log in by G Suite SSO. But if you want to change the behavior and show both the Confluence login and G Suite SSO button, then click on Sign in setting. Now, Click on Auto Redirect to IDP option to disable it. Scroll down and click on Save. Now, navigate the Configured IDPs tab from the left menu. 
You will find all the configured IDPs here. You can view, test, edit, or delete your configuration here. You can also enable or disable SSO for G Suite IDP. After successful test connection, you will get to see SSO button on the Confluence login page now. Click on Use Corporate Login button. Here will be redirect to G Suite login page. For SAML authentication. Now enter your G Suite credentials. You will be successfully logged into Confluence dashboard using G Suite credentials. Go to User Profile to check the user data. And you can see the user full name and email ID here. Manyarange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.